Today I'm going to break down the difference between kilowatts and kilovolt amperes in a way that finally makes sense the real world lead technician style. Hey everyone, this is Yab Electrical Technician and this channel is all about helping you become a smarter, more confident electrical technician. Whether you are just starting out or already in the field, today's video is one you do not want to miss because this concept, the difference between KV and KW, connects directly to your work with transformers, generators, UPS, and even billing. So grab notepad and let's get into it. Have you ever wondered why a lot of equipment in electrical system is rated in KW and some others are rated in KVA? Like if you look at light bulbs, they are rated in watts, and if you look at transformers, they are rated in volt amps. And a lot of pe people think like KW and KV are equal, but they are not equal in the practical world. And it's important to understand why not. A watt specifically is a rate of just something, meaning over a time there is a certain amount of energy being transferred from a generator that is providing a certain amount of power. So there is a transfer of that energy per second, transfer of certain amount of joules per second. So if we say 20 watts, what we are actually saying is 20 joules of energy transferred every second. So 120 watt light bulb means 120 joules of energy are transferred from the supply through that device and are dissipating outward as light and energy and heat. When we talk about the kilovolt amp, that means KVA, we are talking about how much fixed capacity does this system have to supply current flow to supply certain voltage to be able to transfer energy to the load. So a lot of times we are talking about KVA. When we are talking about KVA, we are talking about the supply side end. When we are talking about KW, we are talking about the actual load end, what it is consuming. When we talk about kilowatts or KW, we are talking about consumption or use or actually how much is a load using. All right, let's define the three types of power every electrician must understand. First, KW stands for kilowatts, that is the real power, the useful work your devices actually perform. That's maybe lighting, heating, or running motors. The second is KVA, that is kilovolt ampere, total power that is applied to the circuit. It includes both the real power and the invisible helper power, which is the reactive power. And the third one is KVAR, is a kilovolt amp reactive. That is a reactive power. It does not do any real work, but it needs to sustain magnetic field in the motors and transformers. Let me give you a quick analogy. Imagine you are pouring a glass of beer. The beer is a useful part, that is a kilowatt, the form is not drinkable, that is a KVR, but the total volume in the glass, that is a KVA. The brewery, or in our case, the generator has to deliver the whole glass, not just the beer. When we talk about KVA, we are talking about what is the capacity, what is being supplied. You could think of it as a storage too. How much stored capacity do we have to be able to transfer energy to the load? When we talk about KW or watts, we are talking about the true power or the real power. Some people might call it active power. When we talk about KVA, we are talking about the apparent power, which is the total real power plus any reactive power. If you have inductor capacitors in a circuit, you are going to have some sort of reactive power from the inductive reactants and capacitive reactants together in a circuit. So it is a vector sum from the triangle from doing the Pythagorean term that you get the total amount of apparent power. So how do we calculate this? Let's go over the formulas. Kw is equal to V times I times radical 3 multiplied by the power factor. And Kv is equal to V multiplied by I multiplied by radical 3. Therefore, KW is equal to KVA multiplied by the power factor. So when we think of KW, we are thinking about what is the actual work being done. Is there a heat being produced from this thing? Is there a light being produced from this thing? If so, we are going to rate it in kilowatts. When we think KVA, we are talking about how much energy is applied or stored 
up or what is the capacity of energy to transfer. So we have to introduce this thing called power factor to talk about this. Power factor is something that you are going to have to get familiar with because again, we are talking about apparent power, true power and real power. You have to understand power factor. Power factor is the ratio of what to VA. This is living proof that what do not equal to VA because you can have a certain amount of consumption and certain amount of energy supplied and they are not going to be equal to each other. If the utility company is supplying a certain amount of power, then a load is only consuming certain amount or it's got a couple of different ways where some of it is storing and some of it is consuming, then your wattage is not going to match your VA. So we get this thing called the power factor, which is just the ratio of whatever being consumed to whatever being supplied. The closer we get to one, which we call unity power factor, it is 100% of what's being supplied is actually being consumed, which means the power company can charge 100% of what they are producing because the customer's consumption is 100%. So everything that's made has some capacitors, has some inductors in it, motor loads. If you are in a commercial environment or industrial environment, there is a tons of motors and motor loads, ballasted lighting that causes inductance inside of this circuit and causes inductive reactance in inside of the circuit. So you actually get a lot of reactive power, what you think of wasted power. It is not truly wasted because it has a useful function. It is uh, just that useful function doesn't go to actually producing light or heat or anything like that. Reactive power is the power that is utilized to keep a machine working. The light bulb emitting some kind of light or heat that is useful for work. But if we have a transformer, there is no heat or no light or anything. The function of transformer is to produce rapid alternating magnetic field. So you can induce current from one coil that is not touching another coil. No inductors, no capacitors. Such a circuit is called purely resistive circuit. So the only difference between KW and KVA is the power factor. A number between zero and one that tells us how efficient power is being used. If your power factor is one, perfectly efficient, then K watt equals KVA. But that almost never happens in the real world system. Let's look at an example. You have a 20 KVA generator and a load running at 0.8 power factor. How much real power can a generator actually supply? This is 20 kVA multiplied by 0.8 power factor, which is equal to 16 kilowatts. That means even though your generator is rated for 20 kVA, it can only deliver 60 kilowatts of real work. The rest is lost to reactive power. This is why understanding kW and kVA matters. Not now could lead you to oversizing or undersizing your equipment. So what is this power factor? It is a ratio between useful power and total power, KW divided by KVA. Most inductive loads like motors, compressors, and ballasts have power factor below one. That is why commercial buildings often have capacitor banks to correct or improve the power factor. The power factor is equal to KW divided by KVA. By improving the power factor, you can reduce the reactive power and bring KVA closer to KW, increasing system efficiency. Why it matters in real jobs? All right, here is why this is crucial in the field. Sizing generators and transformers, avoiding overloads, reducing utility penalties, and accurate load calculation. If you size the generator based on KW, but your load has a low power factor, you will overload it. Some utility companies charge you not just for the KW you use, but for your KVA demand or even penalized you for low power factor. And when you are selecting transformer or UPS, you always see ratings in KVA. Why? Because the equipment must handle total power flow, not just what get converted into the useful work. Let's do a quick recap. KW is the real power or the work done. 
kv is the apparent power or the total power supply and power factor is the efficiency here is a challenge for you if a transformer is rated at 15 kva and your load has a power factor of 0 0.7 how many kilowatts can it handle 15 kva multiplied by 0 0.7 which is equal to 10.5 kilowatt did you get it right let me know in the comments and that is it the truth about kw and kva finally made clear if you found this useful, hit that like button, subscribe for more technical tips and share this with someone who needs it. Want a full video on power factor correction, UPS sizing and or three phase calculations? Comment below.